Hi all, uh, this is the Disk Kid over here. So today uh, we are going to going into the hardware mode once again. Uh, and this thing over here is my gaming PC. It's uh, as I told in many of my gaming video, gameplay videos that this PC is almost eight years old. So I'm not going to go into much detail. Uh, what I'm going to do do is that the please don't uh, take this as my you know YouTube studio walkthrough or anything I don't have a studio at all so I just uh, record everything uh, where my stuffs are placed in I don't have a dedicated record setup uh, I record most of my videos in my mobile phone using a tripod and that's how it goes so today um, I got a RAM actually uh, this is the RAM so I'm going to install this into my PC okay so uh, it's it's just a simple video by that I just wanted to uh, convey you know I just wanted to show you guys the things that uh, that I am doing to my PC and uh, make sure to check out the upcoming video see if the RAM installation um, goes really well in the sense like you know I install the RAM and get it working fine then we will be working with uh, 12 GB of RAM for the upcoming videos so let's get started and let's start installing the ram to my pc so we have two uh what's your thumb screws over here so i'll just remove it this is a cola master cabinet over here so back then when i bought this cabinet uh this window was really cool and i don't have any rgb elements uh since we I, i'm not giving that much importance to the performance of the, my machine i didn't give that much importance to the performance of the of my machine during those days i just wanted a uh a good machine uh, that is capable of doing capable of playing some games okay so that's what's my requirement so that's how i took amd fx 8310 in those days okay so let me just open up this case oh my god it's gonna okay okay Oh, this case is really hard and it's really tough to open. I'm not sure whether I have opened it in the right way. Okay, I have opened it. I have taken the RAM out. Okay. Hmm. And uh, how I'm going to install is like this. So, we have already a RAM uh, installed over here. This is the 8GB Vengeance version. But this is the normal Corsair, Corsair version. So, uh, I... It was like you know I I took this RAM from my brother, so he had a free RAM lying around. So I just uh, asked him whether he uh, will you give me this RAM so that I can uh, boost my performance to a little bit. Even though this is a DDR3, we have some few at least we have some few memories left in the machine. Okay, so let's go ahead and install this. So we have already installed it in the second slot of uh the four uh ram slots over here and so this one is will be going to the fourth slot uh i guess most of you guys will be knowing why i am installing to the fourth uh slot instead of installing it nearby so let's get installed the ram right here this uh this cabinet fan is causing a little bit of problem over here so i'm going to Give it a gentle push so that it locks right in without any issues. Okay, so it's it's locked. Make sure, making sure that it's correctly locked. Okay, it's locked right in. Okay, so we have our RAM installed. Now the other thing. Uh, that is left is to power up the machine okay so as you can see that it's really dusty i have not cleaned my machine this is not going to be a cleaning video that is a anyways uh cleaning is i'll do it in a later part of point of view okay so right now we will go ahead with the ram installation and we will uh, boot the machine and see if it works at all okay so he has not been using this ram for for a while and uh, i'm not sure whether it will work or not i need to connect it to to my monitor power it up and see whether if it's working or not okay so let's hook up the machine and see how it goes 
Okay, so uh, this is the first time boot of my machine after installing the 4 GB DLC RAM. So currently we 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 have 12 GB of RAM and let's see if it boots at all or not. Okay, so I'm just going ahead and take my this controller. This is the controller which we already have and connected to our PC. And uh, let's just boot it up and hope we are not hearing any sorts of beep sound or anything okay i so go to switch on the display so press the delete button okay i press the delete button and let's just see okay yep we have 12 GB of RAM it says like total memory 12,272 okay oh I don't want it to be quiet need to be optimal performance so our DDR RAM installation <laughs> got pretty uh, went really good uh, as you can see from the screen my processor is 8120 it's DDR3 running on 1000 333 megahertz okay it's ddr3 running on 1330 333 megahertz and the processor speed is 3.1 megahertz okay so this is kind of a ultra low uh, not ultra low end setup not even a mid range it's a low end setup i'm i'm ga doing all the gaming in this pc itself and i do have a couple of other consoles like ps3 xbox 360 and ps4 so uh, all those videos are in queue so when it comes to pc i do the gaming on over here okay so that's it for now if you like the video make sure that you hit the subscribe button make sure that you give me a thumbs up if you don't like the video give me a thumbs down please don't tell me to upgrade my pc i know that uh, uh my pc is already outdated i don't have the budget to upgrade this pc and as of now let's play all the games that uh, i have in my hand and then um, most mostly in a future point of time we might throw away this system and bring buy a new one okay so that's it for right now uh, thanks for watching thanks for spending your time with me please uh, provide me some comments if you like the video if you don't like the video make sure that you hit the thumbs on thumbs down if you like the video make sure that you Hit the thumbs up as well. So this is the ADS kit signing off. Have a great day. Stay safe. Take care of yourself.